All right, so I think if you were to ask most people, who was the long snapper in the championship game last year? They might draw a blank. Yeah. And that's kind of a good thing because usually you only hear a long snapper's name when they screw up. What is it like living this life, being a part of this program, and, yeah. and, and going through everything that's happened in the past couple years? You know, it's kind of surreal. It's one of those things where – you never expect it to happen, but uh, I've been blessed. I'm, I, I love everyone here. It's been an experience that you know nobody could even imagine. But um, I really like it. You know, I don't really like praise that much, anyways. You could you could ask my family and friends. I don't you know I don't really like praise, so I'm really fine with nobody knowing my name. I'm actually kind of glad that nobody knows my name. So, yeah. What type of mentality does it take to be a long snapper? Different type of mentality. It's not something that I think everyone could do. Um, like I said, if you do like praise, and a lot of these guys got the swag and they got the, you know, they're doing all the dances and stuff, but uh, for us, we just got to focus on what we're doing. I remember the pick six in the national championship game. I had to run on the field, you know, be level headed, everyone's screaming. I just kind of jog out there, got to go do my job, and then jog back off. So, you know, it's great. I love it. Um, different mindset, though. So last year, yeah, you were the, you were the snapper for field goals and extra points. Still the same thing this year? Or are you going to branch over uh, to Pawnee? So, so we have a couple kids that Coach has been looking at. You know, uh, Jack Maddox has been going for a little while and uh, Tyler Brown. But uh, right now it's a pretty, you know, intense battle and, you know, it'll all work itself out. That's what happened with me and Austin. So we don't know. I think right now they have me one on the depth chart. But, I mean, it, it, it'll it, anything can happen between now and camp. So I'm not sure. For people that don't know, yeah. you're out there with some behemoth across from you yeah. on extra point. And you know that you have to make the snap because you know you're getting ready to get hit. This is still fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the best part is you jog out there and you got two guys right now. You got John Simpson and Gage. And you know that nobody's coming through the middle because you got two guys right next to you that are the biggest guys that I think I've ever met. So that, that kind of reassures you. But like I said before, you just got to go out and do your job. So, you know, you, get, you look at them, you go, oh, wow, they're big. And then you go, okay, I got to snap the ball. <laughs> and I know that we've talked about this before, but we'll go through it again. What brought you to Clemson from all the way? Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh, yeah. yeah. My aunt went here, uh, Aunt Laura. She um, she rode here back in the 90s, and uh, I came down here. I love the place. Uh, the coaches were great. I remember I came to the summer camp, and anybody watching this, I got to say, if you have a dream, go go try out, go do whatever you can to try to get it, because that's what happened to me. I mean, a kid from Pittsburgh won two national championships so far, looking for a third one. Um, it's pretty amazing. So. You know, I love the place, and I can't wait for the, uh, you know the next year. So, I remember I was down on the field after the, the win over Alabama, and I saw you standing there, and you looked like you were. I, I could tell that you were happy, but you looked like you were just drinking it all in. Yep. What was going through your mind right there? You know, after you finish snapping. That's our man, David Savelle. David Savelle. <laughs> so after the national championship, I remember it was kind of surreal because I knew that all, <laughs> uh, that everyone else is just going crazy. But um, like I said before, you usually just throughout the game, me and Austin and Greg, we're always super uh, focused on the game. But after the game, you just kind of got to take a breath. Like, I, like you said, just take it all in. So that's pretty much what I did. But.